Hello, I'm Ishan Mani reporting for Kids First, and today I have the pleasure of talking with Ariana Greenblatt, who plays Julia in Disney Plus's upcoming film, The One and Only Ivan. Only five years into her career, Ariana is one of the busiest young actresses in Hollywood, having been named one to watch on the Hollywood Reporter's 2019 Young Hollywood list. Hi, nice to meet you. Great to meet you too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're really, really busy. So tell me, what drew you to working on The One and Only Ivan? Well, originally, before I started acting, I read the book uh, when I was in the third grade. And I always loved the book. It always drew me to actually want to make it into a movie. Um, but yeah, when I read it and I also read the script, it was so like inspiring as well because I'm an animal lover um, as well as an art lover. So my character, Julia, is both. And it was such a beautiful story. And I definitely want to spread the message to help animals around the world, especially that they're being held in captivity. Um, and also young girls like me and young boys as well um, to also know that they can make a change no matter what age they are. Of course, yeah. So you mentioned that your character and you both love art. So in what other ways are you, are you and Julia similar or different? Uh, well, she's definitely more shy than me, but I would definitely say that she has a good opinion and she's not afraid to say it, um, like me. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, fun fact, I drew the things in the movie. So if you see me with like a drawing or whatever, I actually got to draw that, which was very special. Um, but yeah, we just love animals, we're art lovers, and we're definitely not afraid to share our opinion. Wow, nice. Yeah, so touching on your drawing, did you draw that on set while the film was being shot? Yeah, so actually, I was doing set school at the time. Um, so whenever I had like a break from school or whatever, I would draw and like where we were filming, there's this beautiful park right in the back. So I would like draw there and kind of just like free my head and everything. Um, and like my free time when I'm at home or whatever. But yeah, it was really cool. And then I would turn him in and be like, okay, this is for like the script. <laughs> it's a great way to relieve stress as well, you know, uh, while acting. Yeah. For so sure. what was the most difficult part about portraying Julia? <sighs> interesting. Well, it, the most interesting part or difficult would probably be working with uh, Ivan because obviously it's not a real gorilla. So what was interesting about it is Ben Bishop, who played Ivan during filming, um, he was in this like motion capture suit and he had a bunch of like dots on him and he was really portraying a gorilla, which I thought was so mind blowing. And working with him, I kind of just had to imagine myself in front of a gorilla and I would just look into him, look into his eyes and be like, okay, that's a gorilla's eyes, it's Ivan. Um, so that was definitely interesting to see his like body language as a gorilla. It was very believable. Definitely, yeah. So what was the most fun part of the acting process? Yeah, there's so many great moments, but I would definitely have to say working with Brian Cranston, we would always create like fun handshakes and play games while we cut on set. Um, and we'd play like My Spy and we'd go around the set because the set is very intriguing and there's a lot of details that um, I was looking around, walking around the set. Um, so we just like find some cool things to like play around and stuff like that. So definitely working with Brian Cranston. Right. So what was your favorite scene in the movie without giving away too much? Oh, my favorite scene. There's so many that I love, but I would have to say probably when I realize Ivan did something amazing um, and then the switch in my head, I'm like, oh, my God, I can really change someone's life right now. So probably my favorite would be when I realize that I can make a big difference and either I do it now or nothing's going to happen. Reach. Whoa, did you draw all these? A gorilla. Who draws? What is it? Don't tell me, don't tell me. It's a lonely haystack on a late summer day. Of course, yeah. And I mean, it's such an impactful movie. Uh, so what message do you hope that your viewers will take away from uh, watching The One and Only Ivan? Um, probably that there's no age to make change and whatever you feel passionate about, go for it. Um, in my case as Julia, her case was to save Ivan, who was one of her best friends. Um, so yeah, there's no age to make a change. And if you're passionate about something, do it and just change the world if you want. <laughs> and also be kind to animals, please. Animals are amazing. Yes. <laughs> 
Did COVID-19 affect your work on the film at all, or has it affected your work in general? Well, I actually filmed the one and only Ivan three years ago when I was around the age of nine. So it didn't affect my, it didn't affect this movie. But yeah, during COVID, we obviously couldn't go anywhere. So auditions were like stuck and like stuff like that. But it was a good time for me to kind of like de-stress and kind of take my mental health and personal health, kind of just relax. Um, but I'm definitely excited to get back on the grind and get started again. Definitely. You said three years? Yes, three years ago. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. I mean, and you put on such an amazing performance at the age of nine. That's great. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So how did you manage to balance your schoolwork and acting while working on the film? Yeah, so whenever I'm on any project, um, I do set school, which when they say cut and let's say I have like a 30 minute break, I go to a room, which is especially for my school, and I have a set teacher that's always there with me, like a normal school, you just have your teacher there. Um, and I just kind of have my all my work planned out and I just, any moment I have, I finish my school and then go back to set. Um, but sometimes like there's one day that I don't work and I just do all school. Um, but it's definitely interesting, especially when I first started out in acting, I wasn't really used to like doing set school. Um, but yeah, I'm really used to it now and it's pretty interesting for sure. Definitely, yeah. So you've worked with some really big names in this film, you know, Helen Mirren, Angelina Jolie, uh, Danny DeVito, and more. So what was your experience in working with them? Well, I only got to work with Brian Cranston because he was in the live action, um, and Ramon Rodriguez, obviously. But for the others, like Danny DeVito, Helen Mirren, and Angelina Jolie, um, they were all voice actors. So I only got to meet Angelina Jolie in person and Danny DeVito. Um, hopefully I can meet Helen soon, but they're very sweet and I hope that I can work to them face to face in the near future. Thank you so much for talking with us today, Ariana. It has been a pleasure. I'm Ishan Mani reporting for Kids First. Look for Ariana on the one and only Ivan when it releases on Disney Plus on August 21st. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss my next interview or those of my amazing Kids First teammates. Bye-bye.